I'm gonna show you this really cool way to annotate your ATEM live video production with an iPad, an Apple Pencil, and Live App Pro. Now I have taken a look at Live App Pro on one of my past live streams. It's a nice way to control your ATEM, playback video files, and assets that you have on your iPad. Now of course it has all those features still, but with version 1.2, there is support for a browser overlay, and what we'll dig into in this video, drawing on screen. So just to get things up and running for this video, I have my iPad here and it's connected to the network with this USB-C to ethernet dongle. And via the network, it's connected to my ATEM Mini Extreme. So I'm able to do things like cut between cameras just as you would expect. And it's also connected to the ATEM via HDMI. The HDMI output of the iPad is connected to input number four on my ATEM, which will allow me to integrate it into my live production. So for example, in the video queue tab, I can load in a video, cut to that input on the ATEM, and play it back full screen. So we're all set up, let's take a look at the drawing feature. One of the current challenges in other ways of doing this is you kind of have to guess where you're drawing on your live video production. So for example, using something like Keynote, you can draw on a black screen, overlay that to your production, but you kind of have to hope for the best that you're drawing in the right area. Since Live App Pro already talks to your ATEM, the developers there have come up with a really nice solution to solve this issue. When I hit this capture button, the app tells the ATEM to grab a screenshot of the program output and send that over to the iPad. Now I have this still frame loaded here and I can draw on it. And all the tools that I'm accustomed to when it comes to drawing with the iPad are right there. And next I can use the HDMI output from this iPad to overlay these drawings on top of my program. When I toggle on output, you can see here that the drawings are now output via the HDMI connection. So here in my multi view, you can see the iPads coming in on input number four and the lines that I'm drawing are showing up right there. Next, when I turn on my downstream keyer that I already have set up, I can overlay those drawings on the program feed and the viewers can see the end result. Now this is an app I've always wanted to either make or see made and I'm really happy how well it integrates with the ATEM and works really nicely with this capture and output system. And of course from there I can use other drawing tools on the iPad, I can even start over with a clean slate or I can even grab a new capture at any point. A couple of things I'd really love to see added on this product are to grab my own screenshots of everything I've drawn on top of that frame. I think that would be really helpful to share it on Discord or on my blog or things like that. So I have that captured still with the drawings on top. And it'd be really nice to see multi-layer support so I could add things via some layers, turn on and off some of those layers so I could teach people certain things or walk through certain workflows like that. You can already grab Live App Pro on the App Store. I think it was around 40 US dollars last time I checked. And I think it's worth every penny as a clean way to cut between sources on an ATEM, a way to play videos from your iPad. But now with this drawing feature, it's definitely worth every penny, I think. Of course, you also have to think of the cost of the iPad and the pencil. If you have those already, this works nicely in your workflow. But if you don't, you may have to invest a little bit more to get this system up and running. All right, I hope you find that helpful, useful. If you've tried it out and you have any thoughts or feature requests, let me know in the comments below and I'd love to pass those along to the developers. And also, if you've seen any apps that do this sort of thing and you're really happy with that workflow, I'd also like to hear about those as well. Thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.